electronic device which takes in the input, processes it and gives out the desired output. So what are these different types of computers? How did this exactly evolve? We'll be seeing this. In this, the first one is your Abacus. Have you heard the name Abacus? Yes? Yes. So Abacus was the first calculating device. It was invented by Chinese about 5000 years ago. Fine children. The calculations. What were the calculations which were done? Like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These were the calculations which could be done in Abacus. Then moving on to Napier Bones. What is this Napier Bone? Napier Bone. So this calculating device was basically made, made to do the multiplication and division. Multiplication and division. This consisted of a board with a rim. The board's left edge was divided into nine squares having the numbers 1 to 9. I think you all can see the picture available here. The next one is Pascaline. Next one is Pascaline. Blaise Pascal invented this machine. He was a French mathematician who invented this. So Pascaline was used for addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. This Pascaline machine was made up of rectangular box with 8 movable wheels. Numbers were displayed by rotating the wheels. It could also do the carry over operation. It could also do the carry over operation. Fine children, are you following? Good. Then comes your Leibniz calculator. Then comes your Leibniz calculator. Leibniz, scientist named Leibniz founded this, invented this machine, okay, to perform mainly the multiplication and division. To perform multiplication and division. It was an improved version of the Pascaline machine. Fine. This machine was made up of steel and copper. Then comes Jacquard Do. Then comes Jacquard Lou. Jacquard Lou. So Joseph Mary Jacquard invented this machine using the punched cards. Calculations were done using the punched cards. And what type of calculations were done? This also addition and subtraction. This machine also was used to do the addition and subtraction calculation. Then comes your difference engine. Then comes your difference engine. By the name itself you can know what is a difference engine. It was used to do complex calculations. What children? Complex calculations. Fine. And who invented this? Who invented this? Charles Babbage. Do you know who is Charles Babbage? Very good. The person who invented calculate, sorry, computer. 
and output is given. Understood children? Then the next one is tabulating machine. The next one is tabulating machine. Are you following? Hope everyone is following with me children. The next one is tabulating machine. was the first electronic machine okay where it used to read the data read the data process it process it and gives the output gives the accurate or desired output then next one is mark one next one is your Mark 1. Howard H. Heiken designed this machine which was first fully automatic digital computer. Okay. Full, first fully, fully automatic, fully automatic digital, fully automatic digital computer was your Mark 1. Then comes your ENIAC. E N I A C. What is this ENIAC? Electronic, electronic, numeric, electronic, numeric, integrator, integrator, and and calculator, electronic integrator and calculator. This was the first electronic general purpose computer. Fine. Right? Then 18,000 vacuum tubes were used to do this. Then comes your XSAC. Then comes your XSAC. What is this XSAC? XSAC is electronic, electronic. Delay, delay, storage, electronic delay, storage, automatic, automatic calculator. So, by the name itself, children, you can know, you can know that it is used for storing purpose. It's used for storing purpose. Then, you revamp. Uni by one. So John Matchley and Christopher Ecker developed this machine. It was the first electronic computer to handle both text and numeric data. To handle both text and numeric data. Text and numeric data. Then comes your so this are the different types of computer where the evolution took place. Then moving on to your generation of computers. We will move on to generation of computers. So the first generation computer, what's your first generation computer? It is vacuum tubes were used, UNIAC and ENIAC were the first generation computer first generation computer wherein vacuum tubes were used what were used vacuum tubes were used fine then next comes your second generation computer wherein transistors were used wherein transistors were used. Fine children. Then third generation integrated integrated circuits were used. What was used? Integrated circuits was used. In fourth generation what happened? A little advanced features wherein LSI that's your large scale integration and microprocessors were used. Large scale integration.
जो प्लेस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एग्जांपल इज दीज वर यूज दीज आर बीइंग यूज्ड इन लैबोरेटरीज साइंटिफिक रिसर्च लैबोरेटरीज एंड फॉर डेवलपिंग द रोबोट्स अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रन देन आफ्टर फिनिशिंग द जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स वी विल बी मूविंग ऑन टू different types of computers will be moving on to different types of computers can you repeat with me different types of computer so the first one is your super computer the first one is your super computer so by the name itself you can know that this is most powerful computer in the world this is more powerful computer in the world they have a very large storage capacity so param and anura were the two super computers which were developed in india next comes your main frame computer next one is your main frame computer so main frame computers are less powerful and less expensive than the super computers they are used in big organizations such as banks large industrial undertakings etc then comes your mini computer mini computer so this is a general purpose computer where a large number of people can work together pdp8 and max are the examples then last but not least micro computers last but not least micro computer micro computer is the least expensive of all the computers it is smaller in size than the mini computer it is usually used as personal computer or what you call as pc understood children so now you understood the evolution of computers generation of computers types of computers so after understanding all these things we will be seeing what are the advantages and disadvantages of computers fine i hope everybody is here watching and concentrating fine so we will be moving on to the characteristics or the uses of the computer the first one is it runs on it runs on electricity it runs on electricity of course children it should run on electricity only fine it's an electronic machine so it should run on a electricity then the second one is quality of vigilance what is the word vigilance vigilance is computer keeps on working for a long time see after one class you take a break you go to washroom you drink water you sit and talk to your friends when you are at school at home you just roam around go through everywhere and sit but computer doesn't do that it doesn't get tired the maximum time also it runs fine that's the quality of a computer third one is speed of work speed of work children when we give you assignments and tell you to submit it tomorrow what you do you tell ma'am i forgot i forgot to get the book i've written i'll write it tomorrow and all other etc things you tell but computer doesn't do that once you do a calculation a single input is given in few seconds itself it will give you the output within no time within no time then fourth one is versatility 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 a computer is capable of performing variety of tasks not one task okay then storage of data next one is storage of data so if i ask you what did you do last year at this time this day will you be able to tell no but the computer remembers everything it 
has got a superb memory and storage. Fine, storage capacity is more. Then comes your accuracy. Then comes your accuracy. What is this accuracy? Sometimes while doing work, we humans while doing work, we end up doing some mistakes. Fine, but the computer doesn't do that. So that's the accuracy in computer. Then moving on to limitations of computer. Fine, limitations of computer. It cannot think itself. Yes, no children? It cannot think itself. Unless you give input to that, it doesn't process or it doesn't give the output. So unless you give it or you give a work to it, it doesn't do. It cannot even think itself. Next one is, it does not have feelings. Does not have feelings. Fine? Either you do the work or you do not do the work. System will not do anything. There is no feelings to the system. It cannot even feel. A human feels the pain when he gets hurt. But a computer cannot feel anything as such. So children, in today's class, again I am repeating, you have learned evolution of computer, different types of computer, generation of computers and characteristics of computers and limitations of computer. In the next class, I will be giving you the notes and I want you to do the exercises which is in page number 18, 19 and 20. Okay children, meet you in the next class. Till then, have a nice evening. Thank you.